First episode of Demon Slayer season three was epic. That opening upper moon meeting. <laughs> the animation in that was ridiculous. So let's draw Duma close up on his face, right? Landscape page, use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. We got a head tilt. He's just after taking a punch from a Kaza. So let's go for it. Center point of my page about here. Come over to the right, right? Eyes are here diagonally, right? So center point here. Down a little bit, right? Let's we'll start with the right eye. Go. Up, cross, down to there. So these eyelashes and demons are huge. So we have gotta like literally draw them in. So we go spike here. Spike here. And then we go spike here and then across the top, right? To another little spike on the other side, like so. And then black inside, obviously. Bottom eyelid line slightly different. So just underneath, so he's smiling, right? So we've got like curve going this way, down and then up to the corner there. And these are slightly thinner than the top. Right, so, well, a good bit thinner, I'd say. Okay, and then we got those, he's got these circle-like bottom eyelashes, right? Just these kind of things like that. I, so a half circle coming from the bottom eyelid line. Okay, so it goes like up and it's kind of like angled. So you like change direction a couple of times. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just around like that. And then we have these black circles in the corners, which I never saw until the anime, until this anime was released. So like that, and these have little tick-tock lines, kind of clock lines, you know, like the hands of a clock just going around. Like so. And then we have Upper Moon written in his eyes. So this is kind of complicated, but a little bit tricky, right? We'll do our best. Because it's kind of Japanese calligraphy, and they, it looks like they like, it may be stenciled on. So. We try our best here. Uh, yeah, so we go there. And then we go across. All right, simple. I'll add the sort of flicks and twirls when we get the main shape in. And then we got this sort of snaking kind of line here, like a Z zigzag kind of thing. And then another sort of straight line there with a blob on top. And then another sort of Z lightning sort of thing here. And something else going out there. So you just gotta make it look kind of calligraphy-esque. So, I missed a, well there's a comma up here. Yeah, so like a little sort of blurb on top there and like a little comma there. And then just little like furls and stuff, wider bits on the end. You're just trying to make it look like calligraphy as best you can. Okay. So he's got like a line just on his cheek underneath the eye. He has some eyelid lines. And then across the top here as well. So it's kind of like underneath his hair, but we'll draw it in anyway. He's got a big eyebrow underneath a spike of hair. So we'll, we'll draw that spike of hair first before we do any eyebrows, really. So the other eye, just up, up from this, just here, right? Starting there. It's about three quarters of an eye across. It's not the full eye because they're, they're out of proportion. They're bigger. So we're about from tear duct, say from there, to the edge of his iris. That's kind of your distance between the two eyes, say there and there. And then you just do same thing again. 
right we add our spike and spiking across and then we got to color it in bottom eyelid same thing again so he's kind of like curved because he's smiling and then flicks back up there and we just thicken it up a little bit not as much as the top like so and then those blobby eyelashes those little circles His iris. Like so. And then the calligraphy writing. So again, oh yeah, and sorry, those sort of circles that are around his eye. So these kind of things here. And then our calligraphy. Like just these little spikes kind of coming off here. Do -do -do. Right, and line there. And then we got like some, again, some like eyelid lines, just some sort of detail lines coming across his eye, like so. And like a frowning line or something there. So that's his eyes, right? So we go for the nose now. So again, we're diagonal. So this is our middle. And then we got like a nostril, a nostril. And then he has some hatching lines just on the top of his nose. And his mouth, so real big smile, right? So it like comes across here. He's, he's a happy guy, Duma. He's happy being a demon. <laughs> and there's kind of curves on the edge. So he's got these little dimples, right? And then the mouth comes down. back up to there he's a little too happy so he's got a shadow inside here and a shadow there and then we got fangs right so sharp fang there sharp fang there and then we go across top teeth Fangs on the bottom, one, two, then join them together, and then tongue just in the background. We should, no, what am I seeing there? Is that teeth? So, back of the tongue, I think, and then like a white tooth, sort of molars at the back there, I think. And then we have the triangular shadow that Demon Slayer characters have. And of course, there's all cracks and stuff on the face, but we'll just get the shape for the face in first. So chin, relatively pointy chin, just there. In terms of proportion, this space, so say like this eyelid line to his nose, his mouth is open, right? So this space is like smaller than this. So say like, very top of this eyelid line to the nostrils is about the same as nostrils to just the middle of his chin, right? So I'd say there, there and there. So I'd say to the top lip is more, that's kind of your halfway point between here and here because his mouth's open. So say top eyelid to the mouth, about the same as top mouth line to the chin, 
right? So here to here, about the same as there to there. And then I'd say, yeah, here, the mouth. So like here to here is about the same as here to here. So this is halfway between like top of the mouth and the chin. So that and that are about the same. All right, so just, I'll do that again. So like here, to the, so eyelash, eyelid area, to the top of the mouth, about the same as top of the mouth to the chin. And then top of the mouth to the bottom of the mouth. So this whole mouth space is about the same as the bottom of the mouth to the chin, to the chin space, right? So that and that are about the same. That's roughly a proportion. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate, you know, because his head is like tilted back and everything. So if you get that roughly, we can go for the jaw. It's kind of a gradual curve, right? You know, more than like a Dragon Ball character that would like stop and then suddenly go that way. It kind of gradually just curves up to beside his eye, right? So see here, mouth level, side of the eye, that's where his jaw bone would be and then you curve up. Right. He's got like a vein here actually. So we'll just add that little bump. Little vein coming onto his face. And then just keep going. Like so. And then we can add sort of those cracks on his face, right? As he reconstructs himself. And sort of these type of cracks every now and then he has like a little shadow, like a little black shadow in the crack. Just a little triangular. Sort of section like that. Okay. So hair and ears and things, right? So Let's say, right, so we got like a sideburn, sort of in line with this here, right? So about there, in line with his eyelash there, right? So this kind of goes this way. Right, so this is like his sideburn area. And it comes out to a hair spike out there, right? But his ear then, comes out from there, down, like so. All right, the other ear will sort of be roughly the same spot, so across, see? And then this will go underneath a hair spike here. And then you can add sort of ear lines inside, right? So the easiest way is always to this letter J sort of thing, this kind of shape to get you started, right? And then you can add some more detail. Like so. Same on this side, pretty much. And then his hair line here has spikes on the side, just going up around the side of his head. Like so. And it disappears underneath a big spike that comes across his face. So it'll go. Make sure I get this right now. Do, 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 do. Where's that picture? Here. Okay, so we'll go. Okay, let's just go for it. There's always a bravery test in this kind of stuff. Oh. Yeah, that's how big it is. Right, so. And then we go back. This way. Okay, 
and then there's another spike here. And then this seems to go back up this way. These are like big ones on the front of his forehead. So up to here, down. So we can just see some of his eyebrows underneath here, right? So he's got these big sort of spiky eyebrows. Like so. And then the other one just somewhere under here. So then the rest of his hair spiking out the side of his head, going all the way around and spiking down behind his shoulder even, and some spiking down his shoulder this way as well. So we just got no easy way of doing it, just go for it. Doop, 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 doop. And then his head will go off the top of the page. There's all texture lines and things as well on all these, but we'll just get the main shapes in first. Now, so the problem is it disappears a little bit here. So I can't see that. But what we can see is that. Going that way. So that's like... There should be a third, I think. Just going here to the top of his head, going that way, maybe. And then this spike. There. And then, like, another one here, down that way. And then a line of them coming down this way. And these ones go in behind his neck. So I'll stop that there until I draw the neck, right? So we should see. If that goes that way, maybe that can go to like the top of his head up there somewhere. Okay, and some more just on this side. So say coming out from the ear here. Just down off the page that way. And then like some smaller ones here. So this spike comes across his neck. And then down there. And the rest is like behind his neck. So neck then will be here. Down that way and like head tilt. So longer on this side. So the neck is like stretched because his head is going that way. And then this just goes underneath his chin. For his collar. And then his collar goes down that way. And like some neck muscles and stuff. So collar gone that way. Neck muscle kind of there. And so is that his shoulder? I think this is his shoulder. Am I right? Could be right, could be wrong. Not really sure. I'm going to guess right shoulder going down there. And then another hair spike here. Okay, so for his hair, then you've got all these texture lines all over. 
So this kind of stuff. like so and then the last thing are those black circles on his hair right and I will draw them in so what's the best way to do that right so so we've got one they're done with color really. So you could color them, but I, I think we need to draw them. So let us see, right? So like coming around here, you've got this black blob and it kind of goes down. Yeah, it's just like blobs down his head here. And then like kind of goes around the back there. around this way and kind of do one maybe here and it just goes all the way around his head back that way and there's a red circle that comes around all this as well. So we go sort of this way, right? And we bump it over his fringe, like so. And I think that's everything. That's how to draw Duma from season three, episode one. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.